I think abstraction is difficult. There is a, a difficulty of response to any sort of, of thing which doesn't give you that handle of saying, what's it of? One of the problems about sculpture is that we're living in a world which has got things in it that are very like sculpture. Chairs, tables, doors, television sets. That's the same sort of language. Bits of wood, bits of steel, old cars, bridges. They all look like sculpture. I mean, I remember when my kids were young and I was making big yellow sculptures and they'd go past some road machine and say, sculpture, Daddy, you know? But it wasn't a sculpture. That wasn't intended to be a sculpture. It was intended to be a, a, a road-making machine. And mine was intended to be a feeling object. This is a sculpture by world-famous sculptor Anthony Carroll. It cost £15,000. But as far as the students of this college are concerned, it makes a far better bicycle rack than it does a work of art. The first day I came into college, I thought it was a bike rack. The main thing is whether, it, you, know, whether you get some pleasure, um, whether, you get some, um, whether it lifts your heart a little bit as you walk out of that, uh, that uh, building there. Does it lift anybody's hearts? Do you object to it having a, a use? I mean, people putting bikes on it, do you object to that? Well, I think as you get more used to it, you'll respect it more, and you won't put bicycles on it. I swore that I'd never make an abstract sculpture. There's the one thing I said I'll never do is to make an abstract sculpture. What I meant was I hope I'll never make an empty sculpture. You know? I want to make uh, um, sculptures which had to do with... with life, not, not to be an exercise. I didn't want to ever make an exercise. And it was really in order to make them more to do with life that I found myself having to, to, to eventually turn to abstraction. Reluctantly. Reluctantly. People want a lot of art to be made in some way that can be written down or can be explained. And I, I don't think it can be. I think art has to be in its own language. And obviously my language is the language of, of shape and interval and hollowness and convexity. These are the sort of things one thinks about. Hopefully, what comes out is something to do with, with my response to the world, my response to being alive.